Teaching yoga is my vocation, my passion and my pleasure. As more folk look to be self-sufficient in their practice, I've been asked to create yoga classes online as a resource for you. This is only possible through your ongoing support and generosity. If you use them, love them and value them, then please consider supporting this work by a monthly subscription on my Patreon page, www.patreon.com yoga with Emma. Like, share and subscribe the page with like-minded friends. Thank you for your support. Welcome, this is just a short uh, tutorial, if you like, on Surya Namaskar, which are the sun salutes. Uh, people quite often ask me what would be a, a good way to start a home practice. And my teacher told me right at the beginning of my, um, my journey with yoga that this was a wonderful way to introduce yoga very briefly into each morning or each evening and or both. Um, it provides excellent mobility and flexion and extension for the spine. It helps to encourage you to unify breath and body movements in a vinyasa form, placing the body with mindful awareness. It's a beautiful sequence and it be can become a moving meditation for you as you practice. The Surya Namaskar means salutations to the sun and in yoga traditions the sun is revered as the illuminator of truth, light thrown into the darkness of ignorance to reveal what is and what is not. And as such Gayantri Mantra is a really lovely way to begin your practice. I'll chant it through once for you now. Om bo bhuvasvaha tat savichu varanyam bargo divasya dimahi dio yona prachodaya Come to a standing position at the front of your yoga mat. And you're going to set Tadasana, the mountain posture. Have your feet hip distance apart and parallel. And find the place where the weight is evenly distributed from the heels across to the balls of the feet and spread your toes wide. Look to align your crown, your north pole, with your heart and your pelvic floor and your ankles your south pole. Inhale, roll your shoulders up towards your ears and exhale, turn your palms to face forward and reach the thumbs back. Feel the openness across the collarbones. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale bring your hands in front of your heart. Bring your attention to your breath now, an ujjayi breath, an even inhalation and an even exhalation working with your breath. And the inhalation is drawing your attention into yourself, into this moment. And the exhalation is settling you into this moment. Keep working with this. If you're unfamiliar with Surya Namaskar, this classic variation, then you might want to watch the first round. If you're happy and you want to work with me, then by all means do so. We'll look at some of the subtleties and the nuances of the practice in a minute. But first I'll just demonstrate. Twelve postures linked together. Inhale, take the hands up into the prayer position above your head. And exhale, draw your hands down in front of your heart, position one. Inhale, 
Press down through your heels and reach up through your hands and your heart, stretch through the front body. And exhale, bow forward. Bend the knees if you need to for the first couple. Inhale, take the right foot back and drop the knee to the floor and look up. Hold the breath if you can into a press up position. And exhale, drop the knees to the floor, the heart to the floor and the chin to the floor. As you inhale, glide your thighs through. Open your chest and look up. As you exhale, chin to the chest, turn the toes under and press back to downward facing dog. Inhaling, you step the right foot forward between the hands, looking up. Pressing into the right foot, step the left foot forward and fold. Inhale, reach up, front body stretch. Exhale the hands to the heart. So that's the right hand side, we need to do the left now. Continue with the demonstration, working with me if needs be, or just watching. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale to the heart, one. Inhale, heart lifts. Breathe out, fold. Inhale, take left leg back. Knee to the floor, look up into a lunge. Hold the breath into a press up position. Breathe out, drop the knees to the floor and just sink your heart down between your thumbs. Bottom stays up. Then push through your hands and inhale, come into extension with the spine, cobra. Turning the toes under, chin to the chest, press back to the dog face down. Inhale, step left foot forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, right foot comes forward as you bow. Inhale, reach up, bring hands to touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. So if you're new to this, we'll do this together slowly and we'll take as many breaths as need to be in each position. Tadasana, mountain posture, feeling rooted to the earth and feeling room to expand into the edges of your body, connecting with your breath. Inhale, hands reach high and exhale, hands come lightly in front of the heart. Press down through the inner heels Lift up through the side waist and reach your arms up. And as you exhale, bow forward. Now we'll hang out here for a moment. Take the fingertips either side of the feet. Bend the knees if you need to and hang the head. Tip the weight forward towards the front of the feet. When you're ready, with an in-breath, Lightly take the right foot back and drop the knee to the floor and come into a lunge and feel the openness across the right hip flexor. When you're ready to come back into the press up position, plant the hands, lift up through your back, support your shoulders and take yourself back into a press up position. Now in the press up position, the shins press up to the calves, the thighs to the backs of the legs the belly up towards the spine, the breastbone up towards the thoracic. Don't sag through your shoulders, push the floor away. When you're ready to come down, drop the knees to the floor and with an out breath, drop your heart forward. Then inhale, let your bottom come to the floor, pull your heart forward and come into Cobra. Only come as high as you comfortably can Keep your thighs on the mat and don't straighten your arms. Straightening your arms is, is some sort of halfway house between upward dog and cobra. It's a cobra. The thighs stay on the mat, the heart surges forward. Exhale, chin to the chest, turn the toes under, push through your hands, round through your back and come back into downward facing dog. If you need to rest, drop the knees to the floor. 
If you're happy here, press through the heels of your hands, lift up through the armpits and press back through the side waist, back into the hips. You can start with the knees bent if that feels nice, drawing the collarbones towards the knees. And then when you're ready to begin to straighten the legs, you're taking down through the backs of the knees, heels to the floor. Now to come forward into the lunge, you're going to come high on your tippy toes, you're going to push the floor away, protracting the shoulders, and inhale and step that right foot forward between the hands. And you'll notice that the shoulder comes over the wrist to achieve that. If you quite haven't got the flexibility and the mobility yet in the hips, you'll drop the knees to the floor and step the foot forward. Then enjoy the lunge to cultivate the mobility. Or if you're nearly there, lovingly take it forward. Back knee to the floor. Inhale, chest opens. Now really cultivate strength in your hip as you press the right hip foot down and bring the back foot forward and bow over your legs. Looking up, inhale, hands come up. And let's go all the way forward for the left hand side. Once again, just take a few breaths here. We'll rock the weight forward. We'll lift up through the inner thighs, widen the, um, the sitting bones. Hanging the head. Inhale, left leg goes back, knee to the floor, look up, enjoy that lunge. Push through the hands, round the back, come back into a press up position. Exhale, knees come to the floor, bottom stays up and you drop the heart between the hands, cultivating strength in your shoulders, pushing through the hands. Inhale, round up, chin to the chest, flow back, take breaths here. Again, if you need to rest, you drop the knees to the floor and sink the bottom back into the pose of the child. And join us when you're ready. So it's in the sunshine that the flowers bloom. There's a lovely quote, it said, and the day came when the risk to remain tight in the bud was more painful than the risk it took to bloom. Coming high on your tippy toes. Push the floor away, make space for that foot to come between the hands. And with an in-breath, look forward and place that left foot forward between your hands. Help it forward if needs be, look up. Push into the left foot, bring the right foot forward and bow over your legs. Inhale and lift. Stretch through the front body. Exhale, the hands come to the heart. Deep breath in. And slow breath out. So, very often what happens is that people begin to skimp with the breath, there's a and it becomes quite jolty. So this is a meditation of movement and breath, so we need to think about the breath as a metronome to which we dance the body to. So set the metronome of your breath, it's and then you need to move your body in time with this metronome. So for the next round, I'm simply going to say, breathe in and breathe out and let your breath be your focus. Standing at the front of your mat, setting Tadasana. Inhale, exhale to the heart. Heels down, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg. Hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
couple of breaths here. Tippy toes. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, reach high, stretch through the front body. Breathe out. Left leg, inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze your forearms towards each other. Lift up through your quadriceps. Find your mula bandha, your pelvic floor muscles, and lift lightly up through the trampoline of your pelvic floor. High on the tippy toes. Push the floor away. On your next in-breath, step left foot forward between the hands and look up. Exhale, right foot forward as you bow. Inhale, reach up, hands come to touch. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Okay, we're going to do one more round. This time I want you to think about the fact that when you bring a foot forward between your hands, how are you creating space? for that shin to come forward. Lift is one thing, but the body tends to find shortcuts. So very often what we see is a lifting up through one side of the body, coming high up on the tippy fingers of one hand. And that's a shortcut, and it's unfortunately a missed opportunity for strengthening through your core. So what I'm going to invite you to do is really push down through the heel of the hand, really push your shoulders up by your ears, come forward, bring the knee tight into the chest as you step that foot forward. Now it might well be if you're used to doing that, lifting the heel of the hand, the foot doesn't come quite so far. If that's the case, I'd rather that you did the right action and came nearly there and then helped it and eventually you'll cultivate the strength internally and the flexibility in the hips to do that. So one more round with that in mind. I'm also going to share with you a prayer that my teacher shared with me when I did my teacher training over a long time ago. It was taught to her by a Catholic nun in New York and I rather love it. There's one line of the prayer for every movement of the body. Inhale. Mother, in stillness I come before thee. I lift my hands and my heart to thee. Stoop down to touch me, Mother. I lift my eyes to thee. Keep me in balance. Thou art my grounding, my rock, my wisdom and my memory. I lift my eyes to thee. From the depths of my soul, I call to thee. Right leg forward. I lift my eyes and my heart to thee. Stoop down to touch me, mother. I lift my hands and my heart to thee. Mother, in stillness I come before thee. 
left hand side. Father, in stillness I come before thee. I lift my hands and my heart to thee. Stoop down to touch me, Father. I lift my eyes to thee. Keep me in balance. Thou art my grounding, my rock, my wisdom and my memory. I lift my eyes to thee. From the depths of my soul, I call to thee. Left foot. I lift my eyes to thee. Stoop down to touch me, Father. I lift my hands and my heart to thee. Father, in stillness, I come before thee. Now, if you've got time, I want you to lie down, please. Lie down on your mat and just let the benefits of that practice steep into the marrow of your being. Shavasana, the legs come apart, the feet relax out to the sides. The arms come away from the body with the palms facing up. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. And surrender into stillness with a sigh. And resting here, become confident that you have the skills now to practice this. And that no effort is wasted on your journey here. Change comes with consistent persistent practice done with, done with devotion. So just keep coming to your mat and practicing your Surya Namaskar as a little prayer of integrity and of truth. Namaste. Whilst this online medium can't replace the work we do directly with each other, student and teacher face to face, it is still beneficial to be led in the practice of yoga, reminded of the aspects that we've forgotten on the way. Here I hope you will find inspiration and confidence in the real work of self-practice, alone on your mat, exploring the wisdom of your sadhana.